Hi guys! Some of you may already know that ComGraph introduced a pump-action rifle conversion kit for the AR platform a few months ago. That kit is currently available for use with the AR-15, but an AR-10 LR-308 version is being developed. I provided a few pictures on my website and mentioned it on a forum or two, but haven't provided much in the way of detail about the design and operation. So today, I want to describe more about the kit and how it works. Before I start that explanation, I also want to say that I'm aware many people would prefer to simply purchase a complete rifle with the pump action components already fully installed. If you're one of those people, please call me to discuss your specific interests. My phone is 203-215-2031. The kit consists of these parts. They are pump hand grip assembly. This item consists of a 3D printed plastic knurled grip and a metal stud for joining to the push rod. The stud has right hand threads. Modified bolt carrier key. This item joins a standard bolt carrier key with a 3 16 inch diameter stainless steel rod. The end of the rod has left hand threads. A turnbuckle nut that joins the pump hand grip assembly and the modified bolt carrier key together. One end of the nut has right hand threads, the other end has left hand threads. Turning the nut in one direction draws both pieces together. Turning it in the other direction separates the two. A full length Picatinny rail to provide a guide for the pump hand grip assembly as it slides along the barrel. A modified gas block. One function is to block the gas port to the, in the barrel so no gases escape. The second function is to support the front end of the Picatinny rail. An aft support for supporting the rear end of the Picatinny rail. an aft support cover to hide the barrel nut, and several miscellaneous screws, a snap ring, a tube of thread locker, and a metric Allen wrench. The kit requires that you supply a barrel of a, of a specific design for proper operation. It must be sized for a rifle length gas tube, have the heavy barrel or H-bar profile and have a gas block section that is 0.75 inches in diameter. The barrel is not included in the kit but is available as an extra if you do not wish to provide your own. To summarize, a completed upper assembly consists of the push grip, modified gas block, full length Picatinny rail, aft support and aft support cover, and the push rod. Operation is very simple. Load a magazine the same way you always have. Release the bolt carrier group to tune to the first round. Load successive rounds by cycling the pump hand grip and bolt carrier group manually. You must overcome the buffer spring force during rearward movement of the pump action grip. The spring helps the BCG forward on the return motion and keeps the bolt in place without any other mechanical latches. Very simple, very reliable. For those of you in states where there may be a concern about fixing the upper and lower together permanently to avoid the argument that your, that your manually operated AR is easily converted back to a semi-auto version, I also offer a special pivot pin. It includes both a tamper-resistant cone nut that can only be removed by destroying the nut and pin and a through hole that allows you to install a pin into the hole in the lower receiver normally used for the pivot pin retaining detent and spring. You can choose to use either method or both methods to secure the two receivers together, depending on your concerns about meeting the local standard of permanently joining the two receivers.